Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to create your own custom sorting criteria in Excel. So here I have these weak numbers and I have the performance value so I have these values in high, medium and low. And what I want to do is sort this data so that I have all the high weeks at the top and then medium and then low. Now Excel already has some sorting criteria. You can sort alphabetically, you can sort based on the number, uh, based on the dates, even colors, but there is no criteria where you can sort based on high, medium, low. So in this case, I'm going to create my own sorting criteria. I would first select this data set. I would go to the data tab here and click on sort option here. This opens the sort dialog box here. I would select what column I want to sort by. So that would be performance. I want to sort based on the cell value and the order in this case, it shows me alphabetically because this is text data, but there is also an option to create your own custom sorting criteria. So I would click on custom list and here it opens the custom list dialog box where I can specify my own criteria and you can see there are already some criteria there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, month names and I can create my own. So in this case I would type manually high mid sorry medium and low and now I would click on add as soon as I do this it automatically adds this to the list of custom lists here and I can click OK and now it shows the order the custom sorting criteria as high medium low and now see what happens when I click OK it would instantly give me the values the high values at the top then medium and then low. So this is how you can create your own custom sorting criteria which could be really useful if you are let's say analyzing survey data and you have uh, data points such as uh, agree strongly agree disagree or OK bad fair. So these are the sorting criteria that do not already exist in Excel, but you can easily create it using the method I've shown you in this video. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I come up with a new Excel tips video. Thank you and have a nice day.